This tutorial will teach you how to generate a set of drawings for your assembly using Autoplot functionality of Fedora for Inventor. You can use the results from our previous trainings or you can use a model from a tutorial dataset. Before you begin, make sure you have assigned the materials to the components and generated mounting holes using sculpt command. As you remember, on the previous step, we binned generalized codes and names of the materials and hardware with the real names and codes. This binning was saved in one of the replace configuration. Now let's start an Autoplot tool. First of all, from a drop-down window, we need to select what replace configuration will be used for the drawing annotation. The way in which Woodwork generates drawings depends on the template you are using. Woodwork templates are based on the inventor drawings and has additional parameters related with woodworking. Use browse button to select the template that you want to use. Woodwork installation includes several default templates, which likely will suit your needs. Of course, you can adjust the template using open template for editing button. Now we need to go to the Woodwork Design tab, Auto Plot Setup, and here you may found a lot of options that can be used in your case. However, I will skip this adjustment step. In this tutorial, you can find detailed information in our manual. I will go back to the assembly. And here, I will just pick the template, which will generate each component in a separate sheet and also generate a whole table. As you can see, the names of the templates according to the task they are doing. Now I need to select a location where this drawing can be saved, or I can say that this drawing will be placed in the same folder where the main assembly is located. And now I can start uploading. Draw drawing generation process may take some time, depending on the complexity of your assembly and the performance of your PC. Once the generation process has completed, you can open a drawing. This template produces the following results. On the first sheet you can find the main assembly view, which is shown in hidden edge mode, which allows you to see all entire structure. On the next pages you see all the components. Let's take a deeper look on some of the components. As you can see, each part has the green direction. It's not always possible to understand what is the green direction only from the picture. That's why we have our green indicator. The red arrow shows you the green direction. By default, parts are oriented in that way that the green direction is in a parallel with the horizontal line of your screen. But you can make an adjustment and set the output in that way that the longest edge of a part will be oriented along the horizontal edge. But in most of the cases the settings are the same, so the longest edge matches the uh, green direction. But of course there might be some exception. In addition we have an edge bending legend. All the edges have their own code. Also by default we have a dimension of a final part which is shown here. But you can change the template and this change template will show you the size of a workpiece. In a title block, we have replaced data about the material and dimensions of the rectangular workpiece. This data came from the replacement table. The holes on the model are marked alphabetically, and holes of the same type are numbered sequentially. On the lower left hand side corner, you can see the base point, and here we have a hole table which indicates the hole centers, center offsets from the base point the hole direction, drilling type, diameter and other parameters necessary for manufacturing. There is a lot of possible usages of drawing generator that was not covered in this short tutorial. For instance, Autoplot can generate drawings in PDF, DXFs and other formats and place them in some defined folder in the background automatically. Or you can use the special templates to generate sticky labels for the cutting machine and so on and so forth.